other advantage of having fixed dose combination is the improved compliance and the better adherence to therapy now using which where to use uh, you know combination so i think there is uh, hardly any scenario where uh, i would not be using a combination of linagliptin and metformin and if you ask me my practice i am more aggressive and i very frequently use a combination of metformin and gliptin and sglt2 inhibitor to begin with also so uh, the the only scenarios which i can think of where i would not be using a you know fixed combination of these three or these two is one if there is any kind of hypersensitivity to any of these molecules second i would uh, refrain from using the initial combination of you know as metformin dpp4 sgld2 in people who are very elderly and frail all established atherosclerotic uh, cvd patients especially those with either heart failure established heart failure or those who are at high risk of developing heart failure that is type a class a all these patients i would prefer linagliptin with uh, dapagliflozin especially as i said heart failure patients across uh, all uh, uh, stages of ckd linagliptin with metformin or linagliptin monotherapy i would prefer in uh, all other cases of diabetes where who are anyway at high risk of developing as or where uh, dapagliflozin is uh, uh, not very useful being a very thin patient or patient with a very high risk of uh, or with established genitary uh, uh, genital urinary tract infections uh, which are uh, recurrent unlike your our previous thinking uh, wherein uh, we uh, all the time used to just stop metformin as soon as gfr uh, serum creatinine goes above 1.4 or 1.5 so that is the no more hold uh, true today so currently we consider it safe provided that kidney function is stable at least until the uh, uh, gfr is less than 30 ml and uh, of course then if patient is on dp for inhibitor it can be very well combined with metformin that again will go down uh, build burden will go down